Welcome to Goyo's Garden and Tie-Dyes. I'm Greg. All right, today we will be doing the fitted sheet of the pillowcase top sheet set. I really can't remember if I mentioned it before. These were brand new from a secondhand store. They were all still in their little, little square things and all that, but uh, when I went to wash them for the first time, they were all different makers. So they all three took the dye a little differently. That spot on there was from uh, a little spot I didn't have cleaned up on my table that I kind of soaked in. Whoops. And anyway, I'm using my microwave splatter guard and my locking tweezers that are rubber coated. And the microwave splatter guard is working wonderful on this. Look how far I've gotten going already. And with these tweezers, you really don't have to take, undo them to take the sputter guard off. You slide it straight up. So we're just going to go around and around and around. And I will be using dies that were won by uh, Katie and Tim in the die giveaway. Congratulations. And once again, thank you everybody that has subscribed and participated in this drawing. I think you'll find the dies quite nice. I did them all at once just to show you what the uh, colors were. I would suggest that you try them uh, a couple at a time. I kind of got it muddied up a little bit, but that was my fault. It's not the die fault. And um, yeah, have fun. No, I am. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. It's about six, maybe seven o'clock right now. This is the final item that I'll be doing. And it was a very long day. Put some stuff out today. And this actually was a last minute thing. When I bring stuff home from the secondhand store, the first thing I do is uh, wash them and then I have them in these totes. So I can pull them out as needed. And with the new pen as spin dryer, it makes it even easier. Walk out of the workshop, toss it in the soda bucket ash, spin it out, good to go. And thank goodness I do do hot water irrigation. That's the only way I had rubber bands wide enough to go on here. They're not the tightest, but they're holding it together. ones that are already stretched out and then they want to snap in your hand <laughs> yeah, and those tweezers will not make a hole uh, they've got a nice thick rubber coating on them everything I've used in this video uh, is in my description box including the dye bottles and boom stands and all that good stuff. Somebody was asking me about that and it's in there now. I would like to get a little better light though. If anybody has any suggestions, let me know. And I'll be using dye out of the bottles. They're eight ounce bottles, uh, three teaspoons of dye, quarter cup soda ash. It just makes applying everything so much easier. All right, we'll do some final nips and tugs on here and we'll be ready to go. 
I said you can manipulate it any way you want. I tried to just have that center uh, be the high point. So the first one we're doing is spray on tan. Actually, the wind's starting to blow a little bit more. The bottles are getting tired. They had a long day. River bottom. Have a little technical difficulties, but it sure still is a lot easier than a spoon. Marvelous darling. Never gets old. And some whale tail. It's a really cool color, real cool. And mild wing sauce. I said before, it doesn't look too mild. Another nice color, varicose violet. Try to work it into the nooks and crannies. I've been saying it all wrong. It's not Pepto Bismol, it's Pepto Dismol. And if you can see what I'm doing right there, then you'll see the moment that I realize what I'm doing. It's gonna be about right coming up. Hey, I just did two pies, like right there. Oh no, no. <laughs> well, we're not gonna get any uh, army surplus on this one. Just a little extra Pepto Dismal. Oh well. <laughs> and I put the cheesecloth on to prevent splatter from the rubber bands. It'll go everywhere. Yeah, let me smack my head on the boom stand though. Okay, so we're gonna apply the water. The water is uh, supposed to be 165. And uh, I'm not sure what it is, but if you do it, you might want to check. I know, just know it's very, very hot. Yeah, these were really fun to make. Especially for being the last minute. 
that's the best part about the hot water. I mean, it's done 15 minutes after you put on the last drop of water. Mine always sit for a little bit longer, but they say 15 minutes. I've never done it that short a time, because I've always got something else going on. Like when I did these, I still had another half hour, hour uh, cleanup. So they sat for a little bit. Trying to punch it through. That's why I uh, open up the pleats and sprinkle some of the powder inside of them. Kind of helps spread it out in the middle of the sh uh, sheet, I guess. Not the shirt. So this is the fitted bottom queen sheet. Here it is. Uh, kind of big and bulky. I had two friends help me hold it up. Turned out all right. Nice tight little spiral. A bit closer to zoom on it. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty good myself. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like it, please hit like. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.